So this is, you know, based on a Gartner uh, study that was done in uh, 2019, it was identified, this is a, a study where they uh, went on research with a group of CEOs on the effectiveness of performance management. And I think, you know, and this was, it's, it's one of those things that was eye-opening, but at the same time, not overly surprising, that is the overall effectiveness of performance management and achieving its primary objectives. When you think about it from a larger organizational perspective, 82% of the CEOs are saying that it's not effective and only 18% found it to be effective. Initially, my group was a little choppy because I got booted out of session one and back to the main session, but I, I, I was able to get back. And But anyway, it was good dialogue for the piece that I was there for. So a couple of the highlights, right, is that people really deserve to know you know, what's going on. They need to know their expectations and, and have feedback on it. So that's kind of the baseline of the purpose. And then we started talking a little bit about how things are, sh are shifting and how the purpose is evolving. One of the pieces of the conversation was on the shifting is much better alignment with, uh, with the results the organization is, uh, um, is wanting to achieve. So much better alignment with objectives and, and, uh, the, comp and the, the results, you know, a better and a tighter link to growth and profit. I do think, you know, Nick, your compensation and performance have been married together for a long time. I think some companies are experimenting with maybe decoupling it a little bit. It's very hard to do that, but that is certainly what people expect. It's like, oh, we go through this exercise so I can see what type of bonus and merit increase I'm going to get. But imagine if that were driven by other factors other than, you know, not just performance, maybe that would change the context of the conversation. But I love the idea of learning and development and those goals being a part of that. Yeah. Uh, something that was said earlier on in the report outs was around the linkage between this process and the outcomes of the business. And I think we do a lot of measures around, are we following the bell curve of, of ratings and is it linked to compensation, all that kind of stuff. I've seen HR scorecards that are green across the board and the business is red across the board. And so we really have to get good at linking that if we're, if we think we're doing a good job of performance management programs or processes that the business is also doing well in a, in a performance. I just want to make one more comment on business driven and its relation to change management too within an organization. So like somebody was talking about implementing new software or whatever we we implemented a new ERP last year. So everyone, I'm a, we're a smaller company, but everyone had a goal to support it that was adjusted to what their contribution was to that goal. And it really enabled the change management of that. So I'd love to hear what people are doing to use performance management to support change management. I, I think it's critical. There's actually, and when we were doing our skills need a comprehensive strategy, at some point, somebody pointed out that there's going to be so much change. It's not that you we do change management for an initiative like what you just described, but it's just change, managing change is just. Mm -hmm. Well, there's the work. competency of change management and then there's the initiatives, right? I think performance yeah, I management can support both, right? That's. But what, what I thought was fascinating with the slides that came up with today's um, discussion is LinkedIn learning that I did post and they were talking about L&D. L&D is seeing there's 77% of the L&D professionals are saying they're seeing more integration. I reflect back, it might've been Amy or Suzanne Chair, I'm not sure, but eight years ago, we introduced integrated talent management. So when we came up with this bucket of talent management, kind of our community said, it's not talent management as a silo, it needs to be integrated. 